uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this uh, interview question okay so basically uh, we have to find here what is the uh, increment impedance re okay what is the incremental intimate uh, incremental impedance re so to find the incremental impedance uh, what do we do we apply a voltage source across there okay across the nodes then we find what is the current coming out of that branch right let's say it okay and there is so let's say here is a and here is b okay so this is let's say our v vt okay so then r a b will be nothing but vt over it okay small signal okay so this is the circuit so this is look like uh, uh, unconventional but that is not correct okay uh, at the end of the video i will tell uh, like uh, like why are this type of configuration you will find okay so actually we will do the like uh, simple applying a test voltage and find the test current then i, I will uh, try to give some intuition okay so let's do it okay so and we here we assume we assume there is present a channel length modulation okay so there is present rds of this mosfets okay m m1 and m2 and we are uh, taking m1 and m2 are ideal okay ideal mosfets so now do the small signal so this is uh, these two points this point and this two point are ac small signal ground okay like the mosfet are properly biased but these are the uh, like ac small signal ground okay so now if i draw the small signal model so it will be looking like that right so let's say and let's say there is a voltage vp okay let's say this voltage is small signal vp and there is no ground okay we can see that this node is not grounded okay so if i draw this let's say for m1 mosfet it will be like this right so from drain okay so this current will be that let's say this is rds1 that will be gm uh, gm on times so what is the vgs small signal vgs so this is ground this node is ground at this node is vp so small signal vgs will be nothing but minus of vp okay so i will write minus gm on times vp this current okay so now we have this node a then then we have that branch that branch right then similar thing will be there and let's say rds2 then similarly again this okay let's say this is vgs1 and that is vgs of two small signal okay so this so vgs uh, vgs2 is nothing but minus vp again right so this current source will be gm2 times vp and there will be a negative sign okay right so this is our v point now we have to apply a test voltage here so i will apply a test voltage here so direction is not matter like you can put plus here minus here or you can put plus here and minus here okay so i will be doing the second case okay now we we have to write some kcl and kvl that's it right so let's do it so now we can see that <coughs> so let's say this voltage is va and this voltage is vv okay let's say this is v and this is vv and this is our v test voltage okay so vt is nothing but vb minus va right this is number one equation and we can see that this current is it right this is a positive current so we can see that this two current is the sum of this two current right so i can write it will be nothing but equal to because like we are applying a kcl here okay so it is nothing but minus gm2 times vp plus this voltage minus this voltage divided by this resistance right so this is vp this voltage so this will be vv minus vp by rds2 okay so let's say this is the second equation similarly i will write so here you can see that this current will be minus it right right because like here like if if we 
make a closed loop and find the KCL at zero, the current flowing through in this direction is IT, right? So current coming out of this this branch is minus IT. Okay. So minus IT minus IT will be nothing but so I am going like I am writing minus IT like this, right? So this minus IT will be the sum of these two currents, right? So again similarly this will be minus GM on times VP plus so this node voltage is VA, right? So VA minus VP by RDS1. Okay. So now we just need to solve these three equations. Okay. So now do it. So what I will do? I will uh, like I will do. Okay. Now so this expression is nothing but let's say IT is nothing but GM1 VP minus VA minus vp by rds1 right so let's say this is equation 4 so i will do so we we can do we doing i i2 equation plus i4 okay so i am adding this equation with this equation so we have 2 it 2 it equals to so so now uh, here rds1 equal to rds2 and gm1 equal to gm2 okay as they are ideal okay now so i am adding this two. so this and this term get cancelled right so this will be let's say this is zero plus and this term will be added with this term okay so i can see that so so okay let add it so vv minus vp by rds plus this term okay so this will be minus okay so there is minus minus of v a minus v p by r d s okay so we have 2 i t equals to r d s is the common part okay so this will be v b minus v p minus v a plus v p okay so this this cancels right v p v p cancels so we have 2 i t equals to VB minus VA divided by RDS. So we and we have VB minus VA is nothing but our VT, right? So this expression. So I will just replace it. So 2IT will be equal to VT by RDS. So this will give VT by IT is nothing but RAV is nothing but 2RDS. Okay. So this is the final answer. Okay. So now what happening here is actually if we can look carefully so I am drawing the picture again okay for your intuition okay so this is the final answer okay this is the final answer now if I look for intuition so I will make the circuit like that okay so this is outcome so now we have to find RAV from here right so this is small signal ground and this is small signal ground so here is our rav okay so now if i draw the small signal model for this so this will be so this will be nothing but this now we have to find rav right so here let's say this point is vp right so now so small signal is the current will flow like that and for this m1 small signal current will flow like in this direction right so current will flow in this direction and current will flow in this direction okay right so now if this is vp so this current is gm times minus gm times vp and this current is gm minus gm times vp okay and let's say this is rds and this is rds okay let's say rds1 and rds2 and we have to find the RAV. Okay. So now what intuitively we can see that this these two current are same. Okay. Right? This is minus GM uh, like GM times VP, right? These two current are magnitude is same. Okay. Magnitude is same, same. And these two same current is coming at the same node. Let's say this is the node VP. Okay, so P node. Okay. So this same node. Okay. So ultimately what happening is so if I like for this for this section for this section intuitively what happening is uh, so so say 
if this current is coming here so the same current ha has to be leave from here right so if i like if i make this okay let me do the circuit again if i make the direction opposite okay if i make the direction opposite so this was the minus gm times vp and here if i make the direction opposite this will be nothing but gm times vp right okay and this is our rab actually intuitively we can see that these two section cancelling each other okay these two section cancelling cancelling each other so basically uh, these two section is becomes open circuit okay intuitively so we have only two resistance in series rds of on and rds of two. okay intuitively we can see that and again intuitively we can see that uh, basically this node becomes zero okay this vp node becomes zero so that gm times vp becomes zero so the current should become open circuited okay so these two becomes open circuited so this this rds1 and rds2 comes in series okay this is the intuition behind the uh, circuit okay so now i am giving another circuit to you and here we can see that this vp node is not grounded okay not grounded now if i make another circuit okay so now it is uh, like it, it is a like a homework okay for you so you can do on your own so let's say here we have a circuit like that now i need to find what will be the rav looking from there small incremental okay let's say plus minus whatever okay so let's say this is m1 and m2 so this is your homework so effectively i think you will find the similar effect okay you will find similar effect your rab probably your rab will be 2 of rds okay rds if the two like if the mosfets are identical okay so that take away from here is there is a ground from here okay but in the previous case we have no ground okay right we have no ground here and actually which type of circuit is this so this is nothing but a, our normal differential pair op amp you can say okay so in our differential pair op amp we have this type of circuit right we have this type of circuit right and we have a current source there okay now for small signal uh, okay let me draw the full picture okay so that you can understand so this is a normal single stage op amp right let's say this is a vdd so this is the thing right for our normal single stage of uh, amplifier now this is a another way to find the output impedance okay so in my in my youtube channel you will find how i find intuitively the r out okay but there is another thing okay so if i make r let's say rx from here okay so what will be the ac small signal picture uh, for this case so let's say this is m1 this is m2 this is m3 and this is m4 okay so this will be equivalently equivalently it will be like that so let's say this is so this is ac small signal ground and we have this type of thing right and the current source is open circuit okay right now we have to find the r out from here okay what you will do so again effectively if i make this circuit okay let me do that so if i make this so this will be looking like this so this will be diode connected this will be that this is ac small signal ground and let's say we have rx from here right so here will be a, let's say rx so we can do that right and we have to find the r out from here so this is our rx and rx we have already found that this is 2 rds right now again this this circuit can be modified as following okay so this will be nothing but so this was m3 right and this was m4 so effectively we can write so this is from here to ground this is on over gm3 right so effectively the circuit will be looking like this
so this is 1 over gm 3 this is rx this is our r out okay for a single stage amplifier now what will be the node connected from like it will be connected here or here this is the question okay right so you can do the things so this will be the like equivalently it will be working so i will i will uh, like i will solve this target in another video like this video is already big okay so you can do yourself okay thank you